The Barzakh life is a life which has a barrier between this world that we live in and a world that is unexplainable to us. It is a life with its own own reality and it is nothing like this world. Allah says in the Quran, after you die there is a Barzakh world until the day you are resurrected. This points out to us that there is a life barrier that does not mix with this life and does not mix with the day of judgment. You don't know what's happening to them, they don't know what's happening to you. And you cannot understand them. It's a barzakh, a barrier. As soon as you die, the soul begins to experience the barzakh well. If you want me to give you a slight example, consider dreams when you're asleep. Your body is in the room, but your soul is doing something different, seeing something different, hearing something different. But your body is there. To the living person, the person who is awake, all I can tell you is, I see a body that's sleeping. But you're in a whole different world. Some people are sleeping, they don't even know that they're sleeping. They think it's reality. And some people know that they're sleeping when they're dreaming. Have you ever experienced that? You know you're asleep. So the barzakh world is similar to when your soul goes out when you're asleep. This barzakh world, my dear brothers and sisters, is a temporary station. In this temporary barzakh world, a person is able to find out if they are going to heaven or hell. The hadith of Prophet ﷺ says, the grave is the first part of the hereafter, of the day of judgment. If he or she is saved from the punishments and torments of the grave, then whatever is after it is going to be better and easier. If he is not saved from the torments and punishments of the grave, then whatever is going to come after that is going to be worse. The Prophet ﷺ indicates or tells us that the dead people visit each other in their grave. For he said وسلم, when you bury your dead, then make their kafan, make their shroud nice and put on beautiful fragrance to them, make them presentable. For the people of the grave yatazawarun, they visit one another. There is a similar hadith where the Prophet ﷺ tells us, bury your dead with the salihun, with the righteous people. For the neighboring person of a grave can harm the person who is next to them if they are being punished. They said, Ya Rasulullah, when they're dead, how are they going to be harmed? He said, won't you get harmed by your neighbor in real life? They said, yes. He goes, and therefore when you're dead, you get harmed by your neighboring dead person. That a person who is being punished in their grave, the animals can hear him or her. Ali radiallahu anha or Aisha radiallahu anha said, two old Jewish women entered my house one time. And they said to me, the people of the grave get punished inside their graves. So I said to them, you are lying. This is not true. People in their graves don't get punished. Then they left. Then the Prophet sallallahu entered and I said, Ya Rasulallah, two old women from the Jews came to me and said, the people of the grave get, are getting punished in their graves. The Prophet sallallahu said, they spoke the truth. The people of the grave who are getting punished, they get punished until the animals can hear them. So the human beings and the jinns can't hear, but the animals can hear them every now and then. So that when a person dies, their soul goes to a place in the Barzakh world. The soul goes either to where the believing souls and good souls are gathered, or it goes to where the disbelieving souls and the filthy or the bad souls are gathered. And when the believing soul goes to the believing place, the believing dead people, their souls run to it. In the Barzakh world, the believing souls run to, the, to this new soul that is just fresh dead person. What are they asking them about? They are asking them about their faith, deeds. How are they doing? They miss them and they want the best for them. But they don't know what's happening to them. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, here are some of the ways in which the punishments can be lessened or forgiven. And in your grave, your light can be increased. He said there are ways that the dead person can still receive benefit in, the here, in their grave. When the son of Adam dies, all of their actions are cut off. Halas, there's nothing that you can do anymore. Except for three things. A righteous child that will supplicate for you. Or a beneficial knowledge which you left behind that people can benefit from. Or an ongoing charity people can benefit from. In a hadith it says that a person who is in their grave, suddenly they see as time goes on, nur, more light and provision is given to them. And they say, Oh my Lord, where is this light coming to me from? And a reply comes to him saying, You have a righteous child that is supplicating for you.